What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2022 Fanatics Under Wraps 2.0 Autographed Baseballs. This is a three-box break. Nine random players each, number four. Now, again, guys, you get one autographed baseball per box. Please note that any and all multi-signed baseballs will go to the multi-signed baseball spot. Now, there's 19 spots. You get nine players from this list below here, from the any and all multi-sport in alphabetical order all the way down to Zach Wheeler. So, uh, that should make it think 171 names. So, we're gonna get these lists here, and we're gonna times it by nine, as you get nine random. Uh, nine, okay. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine that should make nine right there all right let's click the dice roll it's a five and a one six times good luck one two three four five six six times five one six Got Ira at the top, all the way down to Jeremy Port at the bottom. <clears throat> and I, what I'll most likely do, guys, is I'll uh, show you guys the list the way it came out from the randomizer, but then I'll alphabetize it by customer name. You guys can quickly see your nine teams, nine players you guys got. All right, nine times, uh, six times here now. One, two, three. Four, five, six. I have not Rex. I've only seen a little bit of it, but uh, Nick did message me yesterday telling me that she looks good. Animation and everything look good. Alrighty. So just the way it came out there, all the way down here to Jeremy Port with Kyle Hendricks. So now. Let's put this a little bit bigger. And then we're going to alphabetize by customer name. So I'm not going to go through every single player that you got, Alex, but there's yours there from Bo Jackson down to Aaron Judge. Brian Hayes from Fernando Valenzuela down to Tino Martinez. <clears throat> what up, Brandon? How you doing, buddy? Hiro, uh, you got a good amount of spots actually. So, starting with Luis Severino, you got all of those players there. All the way down to Billy Williams. Oh, Jack Black plays Bowser? That's cool, man. Yeah, I don't really know the cast or anything like that, but I'll eventually look into it. James with Jim Palmer, all the way down to. Max Freed. I've just been all up on this, all this uh, Draymond Green, Jordan Poole drama. It's getting juicy. Also, the person that, that sold and leaked that video to TMZ is probably swimming in money right now. But also might get fired slash maybe in jail if he violated anything. <laughs> all right. And then Jeremy Port. There's your players there from Fernando Tatis. You got all these players here. Waiting for Mosaic 3 filler. Well, hopefully that goes today, man. Jeremy T, you have Albert Pujols right. down at Ichiro. Oh my gosh, it's always slipped past me. Thank you. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, sure. John, down at Joe Car... Uh, John G, sorry, Gaddy, down, uh, Dennis Eric down at Joe Carter, I should say. Nathan. Jonathan India down at Yogi Bear. Oh, 
Oliver, you have Brandon Nemo down to Eric Hosmer. And then Tony Barkey, you have the rest of these from Eloy Jimenez, got Acuna in there, Stanton. You got the any and all multi sign baseballs as well. Rex, are you, are you just missing out on Twitter, bro? Twitter is a wild time right now with that with, with that stuff. All the way down to Ken Griffey Jr. Go look at the video too, and then just just look at all the funny stuff people are talking about on Twitter, man. Twitter is the best, honestly. Twitter's hands down the best app. It it was back in 2010, 2009 when I first got it. It still is now. All right. Now I don't. I doubt there's gonna be any trades, right? So let's just let's just do the autograph baseballs. All right, guys. Well, now I'm going to put it back to normal here. And I really doubt... This is just for the purposes of of of, uh, of the shipping team, just to have a little copy. But all right, there's that. <clears throat> all right, do we have enough people playing? Who am I? Uh, yeah, Brandon, he's off Fridays and Saturdays now. I am off Sundays and Mondays, and then I cover here Friday, Saturday. I'm on Instagram Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, and then on YouTube Friday, Saturdays. So before Joe used to be off Sunday, Mondays, I took that, switched it up, and then uh, he's off now Friday, Saturdays. About a year and a half now. All right, do we have enough people to play Who Am I? Who's watching? All right, so here's the Fanatics Under Wraps Autograph Baseballs. You get three of them. Uh, my knife, knife, knife. Well, no one really knows, Rex. We don't know if Jordan Poole was talking that ish. No one really knows if Draymond Green is just tired of Jordan Poole. Maybe he's tired of being a warrior. He wants to go play with LeBron. <laughs> I don't know, but they're investigating all that now. Let's see if I can see who this is first before I show it to you guys. Oh, that's nice. It's actually pretty nice. All right, let's see if anybody's interested in this. Who am I? If after this ball, no one, no one gets responses, then we'll just show you the autograph baseballs. I know it's a little early. All right, who am I, guys? Uh, my first name is actually Frederick. Alright? See if anybody really knows this guy's first name. His first name is Frederick. Professional MLB first baseman. Currently active as well. He's played about 12 seasons. Born in California. Uh, a six time All Star. World Series champ. NL MVP. Three time Silver Slugger Award. Hank Aaron Award winner, Gold Glove Award winner. His middle name is Charles. <laughs> ah, there you go. 
I wonder how many people actually knew his name was Frederick. Frederick Charles Freeman. <laughs> All right, so there you go, Freddie Freeman. Who has Freddie Freeman? Let me see. Jeremy Port, congratulations. And this is actually a really cool autographed baseball because it's a uh, World Series autographed baseball with the logo on there from 2021. There you go. And just in case, I'll tell you right here too as well, Freddie Freeman. All right, next one, guys. All right, I'm a former professional pitcher who played 19 seasons in the MLB, guys. Uh, played for three teams my entire career. I have a win-loss record of 251 and 161. I have a lifetime ERA of 374. I have over 3,000 strikeouts. Six-time All-Star, World Series champ. I was the AL Cy Young Award winner in 2007. I won the ALCS MVP in 2009. I also led the league in wins in the MLB for two seasons in 2009 and 2010. Who am I? Nobody? Ah, there you go. Mickey, correct the mundo. Correct the mundo. CC Sabathia. I don't know which way it is. It's probably this way, right? Yeah, there's a CC. Alright. So again, CC Sabathia. Very nice. Who has CC Sabathia, though? Is the question. CC Sabathia is going to go to Tony Barkey. All righty. Nice. Uno mas, guys. Uno mas. Good luck, everybody. This isn't a multi sun one. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm currently active in the MLB. I don't, I don't know if I actually had a pretty good season this year. But, uh, yeah, actually, you know what? Forget it. He was an all-star this year, actually. Two-time all-star, actually. Sorry. I've only played for one team, of course, in my young career, although he's not really that much of a youngster. I think he was like a 27, 26-year-old rookie. Um, 
Lifetime right now, I have 42 home runs, 179 RBIs. Um, I have a career batting average of 256. All right. So like I said, made my ML debut in 2020. I, I was a seventh round pick in 2015 by the Tampa Bay Rays. Um, but like I said, uh, this player started with the Burham or Durham Bulls in 2019. And then after the 2019 season, selected into the United States national baseball team. Um, and then, of course, uh, was added to the Rays roster following 2019 season. And then it says on uh, December 6, 2019, was traded to this team that he's currently on now. And uh, had a pretty good rookie season. Hit for the cycle on July 16, 2021. This one's a little tough. Not a Rosarania. This one's a little bit tough. Just think of an older rookie at the time in 2020. I believe he was a rookie in 2020 products. Um, I can say that I was traded with Tommy Pham to this team now in exchange for Hunter Renfro, Xavier Edwards, Xavier Edwards and a player to be named later on. Who was that? But yeah, Cronenwood was selected to the All-Star game as a reserve in his first game back from the All-Star break. He hit for the Cycles at Nationals Park in Washington and finished the season batting 266 with 21 home runs, 71 RBIs, 94 runs scored. Yes, there you go. So yeah, this is a, like I said, I don't really watch too much Padres games, but I just remember Jake Cronenworth being pretty good his rookie season. He was just one of the much older rookies to make his debut in the, in the MLB. So right now he's currently 28. But, like I said, I'm selected to the All-Star the last two years. And pretty nice inscription, too, actually. So I believe it says Crone Zone on the sweet spot. This one was a little bit more tougher, though. It's kind of hard when these players don't really have too many, like, awards and, like, you know, accolades I could talk about. <laughs> I have to kind of, like, dig deep. So that's a cool one right there. So. Crone Zone. And, uh... Let's see. Jake. That is going to Tony Barkey. So Tony, back-to-back -back hits for Jake for you. You got Jake Cronenworth coming your way as well. And there you go, folks. That was a quick little three-box break. We have another one in the store. I don't know which autograph bases we've hit so far out of this case but um would love to run it back if you guys want guys appreciate everybody jaspiescasebreaks.com